Well, we're back here again at Kingston Park. It's Newcastle United women against Chorley women in the National League Division 1 North, a match that Newcastle must win, even though it's early on in the season, they've already been beaten off Hull. Can we wait for this particular clash? Chorley took four points off Newcastle United women last season, and I'm sure Newcastle United women are going to be determined to reverse that during this match. It's coming up. So we're about um, half an hour in in the first half and Newcastle United women are 1-0 up against Chorley. An absolutely corking goal by Casey Elson who scored a brace against Hull. 20 yards or so, curler in the top corner. Brilliant. So you don't know, um, in the women's football leagues, um, we're in the fourth tier, the National League Division 1 North. Uh, I believe there are four leagues in this particular tier, so only one team gets promoted. Uh, and Newcastle just missed out in behind Liverpool, I think it was, last season. Um, but they're currently sitting second top, just behind Barnsley, so really they can't afford to lose any more games, so the pressure's really on. Um, so I thought I'd give you a little bit more of experience about what it's like to come to a match uh, at Kingston Park. I have to say, uh, Amanda and Mayor Dad, Caduceo, are absolutely brilliant with the fans. They're just, they're just ordinary folk like you and I, just you know, dealing, you know, know, mixing with the kids, signing autographs, taking photographs. They're absolutely spot on. It's just uh, just a pleasure to see. You know, the atmosphere, the type of fans, you know, just general, generally what it's like. Um, but if you wanted to come, and I'd encourage you to do so, it's £3 for adults and £1 for a child to get in. The crowd looks like it's the same as probably what it was against Hull. Looks to be around about 2,000, which is absolutely brilliant. So if you come to the game, they've got these two food vans. Uh, this week they've got a kind of a, a fish and chip van, but they've also got a pizza van. The pizza van was here against Hull. So that's it, half-time Newcastle United women won Chorley nil with a stunning goal by Casey Elson. All to play for in the second half, that was, if I'm honest, a bit scrappy, tight game. Uh, we really need to win this and uh, I'm going to find out what some of the fans think. So I've just been approached by this young lady here who asked me to do a, a recorded message on her phone for her dad. What's your name, mate? Daniel. And you like the channel, do you? I do, I, I, like, I like all this stuff. Uh, I'm looking at... All the history of Newcastle and that, mm -hmm. not just about the football, but obviously this is a bonus. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's canny. Yeah. So you've been any um, women's matches before? Yeah, season ticket holders. Oh, wow, well, OK. So, so, how, so uh, how much is it for a season ticket? Um, well, we got the deal, didn't we? It was about, it's fairly reasonable, I think it's 55 quid for the two of us, I think. Something like that. OK, right. So you're all a family together, are you? Yeah, no. the, those are my mates. That's, OK. That's, that's my daughter's best friend. And uh, what's your yeah. name? Chloe. Chloe. How old are you, Chloe? 13. Do you play football? Uh, yeah, I've been playing for eight years. Who do you play for? Bella Magpies. Hello, what's your names? Madison. 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 Sienna. And Leo. And who are you hoping to get an autograph up off apart from me? Grace. Grace. Chris. Donnelly. Yes. Chris Donnelly. Is he your favourite player? Yeah. 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 Do you play football? Yeah. yeah. Who for? I play Wish My Girls, New Fordy Boys. Which, which more girls? Yeah, New Fordley boys. Oh, okay. and you? New Fordley boys and come and play my girls. Yes. Come on, yes. introduce. Yes. Come on, miss, come on, miss. So, well, introduce your football team. Um, so, this is the West Hope United under 11 Lionesses. How, how well are you doing this season? We won, we won yesterday and we won 31 0. 31-0? Yeah. Yeah. Who scored the most goals? Um, How many did you score? Ten. Ten goals. So who here, out of all you, are going to play for Newcastle United? All of us. So we're five or so minutes into the second half here and uh, Newcastle missed a couple of really good chances. In particular, Casey Elson could have made it 2-0. She had a clear header on goal with a great crossing from five yards out. She headed it straight over the bar. Should have been 2-0 up. Uh, but if you didn't know, Newcastle United at the moment are riddled with injuries. And earlier on, I spoke to some of the girls who are currently out injured. Hi, girls. You're all part of a growing list of injured players. What's going on? Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's just something you can't really predict, can you? But we're all still here supporting the team, and that's what it's all about. Yeah. So what's your particular injury? Um, well, I ruptured a ligament in my foot. So I had surgery about three weeks ago. Um, expected to be out about six months, but on the road to recovery. Good. So who he has uh, getting close to back to first team action? You, Erin? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Come and talk to us, yeah. Um, so what's 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 your injury been, Erin? Um I got a stress fracture in my foot, so I've been out all of pre season. Um, so I'm hoping that I'll be back next week or the week after. So we'll just have the seventy minute round of applause uh, by the crowd there in appreciation uh, for the service made by Queen Elizabeth II during her reign, which was really quite heartwarming. Just before that, Shauna Wilkinson went off. She was actually carried off. That's not good news for Newcastle. This is another injury to the list. Second half were much better. Um, we've had three or four chances now. Well, one gilt edge chance, two or three probably half chances. But we're certainly the dominant team in the second half. And uh, I'm confident we can go on and uh, get another goal or two. That's it, just finished Newcastle United Women 1, Chorley 1. Make no bones about it, that's two points dropped. Newcastle United were the dominant team in the second half. They had a string of chances to bury that game completely. It's the same against Hull, a game of missed chances. Some guilt edge chances just weren't clinical enough. And uh, Betty Langley, she was uh, said it wasn't good enough against Hull a couple of weeks ago. She's certainly not going to be happy with the result tonight. Because it's matches like this can make all the difference with 12 teams in a league, only one can go up. And it's matches with results like this that could be completely costly by the end of the season. Hello, Bradley, how are you doing? Yeah, fine, you? Ah, uh, good. What do you think of that? Uh, it was all right. Like, I think like the defence in Newcastle women were a bit sloppy, but like, Troy did deserve a point today. Like. Oh, I completely uh, I thought Newcastle had loads of chances in the second half. Like they did, they did have loads of chances in the second half, but like that free kick by that woman there, there was just absolutely outstanding. It was actually it really was. So, so well done to Chorley, you know what I mean. So we'll see you next time. Casey, you must be absolutely good at. Yeah, it's tough to take when you lose a game to a set piece that we shouldn't be conceding in the first place. And our one aim is to limit set pieces against us, and yeah. when we haven't, we've been punished. Yeah, I mean you scored one, and uh, I think you missed a glorious chance in the second half there with the head. Yeah, I just uh, think I missed just a flight of that and just couldn't get yeah. over it. But, like I said, last time, just because you scored the goal doesn't get you the points. Yeah, so. and so unlucky as well, because like, against, against Hull, you had loads of chances in the second half. Yeah, and it's just about being clinical again or being creative and finding new ways to create them chances. But yeah. it just wasn't our day again. Oh, well. Frustrating today. Here for the result, 1-1, one, one, where really you should have won. But on, on a personal level as well, you've come off injured. Yeah, I think it's one of them. You, you can't help it, you know what I mean? Someone landed on my foot and I've had to go off. But I think, you know, we're going to take these experiences in every game. Like, when a, when an injured player goes off, everyone just needs to keep picking each other up and keep going till the end. Um, but no, I think it's definitely one to take. It's the tough one, but we're going to next week fresh-minded and keep pushing on. Yeah, and of course we've got a growing injury list as well. Indeed we do. Um, but that's something that, you know, all the injured players are working back to getting people who start every week are trying their best to just keep pushing on and kind of hopefully this will only last a few days um, but yeah we'll just keep keep positive minded yeah. like a bit of a bogey team that took four points off you last season and again yeah. really I think that was two points dropped would you agree yeah absolutely it's just one of those we need to keep learning from we need to just not let it get in my head before the game and just keep going it's just every team's different you know what I mean and you have to keep coming each week and expect this expect the same um, but no, I think it's definitely something that we're going to take into each game, just put everything behind one and leave everything on the pitch. Yeah, well, good luck going forward and hope you recover soon. Thank you very much.